Hey guys, what is up? Eric Hill here, one half of the Hill Twins, and I'm here to give you a very cool general deck profile for you guys today. As you guys can see, we have the Ginyu Force in action on this uh, profile, and I'm just going to jump in and explain my choices and why I chose them, and even why I developed the deck. So, um, without further ado, let me jump right into it. So I was actually streaming and um, I was playing another deck that I was going to profile for you guys. And while I was building the deck, I saw Elite Force Captain Ginyu. And I'm like, oh my god, Captain Ginyu. And then I realized that Ginyu the Reliable Captain was a thing and the Ginyu Force was a thing. And the IMS is Chris Welch and I'm like, yo bro, I think I found this awesome idea. And um you guys may know him as well, G. He was watching the stream. I'm like, yo, I think this might be dope. And uh, from then on, um, I decided to build the deck. And this is what I came up with. So that's the, the story behind the deck. Um, so we utilize Shinron as our leader and his outlet, the Dragon Balls. If you guys don't know what the Dragon Ball leader does, also known as Shinron, just a quick uh, review. He cannot attack. So... You cannot attack with him, but you can activate main, search between your life or your deck. Two Dragon Balls, move them to your hand, then shuffle the areas. Now, the good part about him is that you can search life, look at your life, see what's in there. Fellow so search, shuffle the deck, go uh, shuffle the life, and then go into the deck, take the Dragon Ball. So you can wait to take from your life, you know, because um, your opponent may attack you, so you just might get it. No need to bring yourself low in life trying to get the Dragon Balls. It may be inevitable. Uh, now, on your Awakened side, once all seven Dragon Balls are in the discard pile, you get to wish to become the big dragon. And you can add a Desire card from your discard pile to your hand and activate one of the following effects during that turn. Activate main, you can either draw one card, activate one desired card equal to your energy or less, and, I mean, or pay seven Dragon Balls from the discard pile, remove them from the game, give a battle card 10K and triple attack for the duration of the turn. So um, that's the idea. Now, if you can actually get into the idea of it, like, if you can get the triple attack, you get it. But you generally would just want to wait and set everything up. So, now, just to jump into the deck real fast. Um, I don't want to be too lengthy on the video. Uh, the, the choices. So, we play four. Ginyu Force Burden. He's just your average 10k beat stick. He's a two drop. But in this deck, we're not really worried about energy for dropping our cards. Um, but he's very important. So, when he attacks... At the end of the turn, actually, you don't have to attack, but just auto. At the end of the turn, switch this card to active mode. So when you do attack with him, it's pretty cool because you get to restand him at the end of the turn. You don't got to worry about anybody trying to bump into him or anything like that. So they have to manually get rid of him off a of board, which is pretty cool. Um, now we play four, getting you force Raccoon. Very important drop in the deck. He's just, again, your standard 10K beat stick. Um... And what he is going to do is permanent. When it is your opponent's turn, he actually gains 6k. So it's actually harder to kill for them. They would need a minimum 20k to at least kill them. And he can just easily boost and become a uh, 21k. So it's just it's, it's free. Uh, next, one of the most important pieces of the deck, again, you force Jace. Very powerful because he's a blocker. Who can also put himself in play which is pretty cool um his effect is auto when you play this card from your hand choose up to the top the three cards of your deck and you look at them and choose one ginyu force i mean any ginyu force except for ginyu and play it so he's actually very powerful because if they create more ginyu force like higher drops you look at the top three uh cards of your deck and you get this special summon any one of them you know, so that's that's pretty powerful. If it's a four drop, it doesn't matter at all the cost, as long as it does not have Ginyu in its name. So next we have our Ginyu, the reliable captain. He is the heart of the deck. He is basically, you know, the bread and butter you want to make sure you have 
when you play this card or you get to play from your hand or Ginyu Force other than Captain Ginyu from your hand. Very powerful because um, you know you get to take your whole hand and just drop it on the board. So that's important and you can also put them in play various ways. You, we have obviously the Child's Wish or World Peace if it comes down to it. We can also hard drop him for three key or we could even special summon him with Shimon the Wish Granter if it be, you know, if it goes down to that. But those are many ways of getting him out, which is pretty cool. Um, now, he does have a permanent effect. Um, you know, all Ginyu cards in your hand gain Evolve. So essentially, they gain evolve for five, two, three yellow, and two of anything. So essentially, your Ginyu becomes a five drop, which is, I guess, pretty decent for the most part. Um, yeah, so that's very important. He's very important for the for the deck. Um, here comes some of the additions. So to the power some Goku, as I was as I was talking with Chris Welch, we decided that you know he needed we needed some hand power, and. Um, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to stay away from the yellow too much or invest in anything that was going to cost me later. So I decided to play two sorts of the power and go cool. Objective was to just pick up the hand, pick up the life as hand, get as much as you can and just drop it and go. So that was the main objective of him behind it. I mean, you know, and um, yeah, that was just that. Next, we got Powerful Bond, Ginyu Force. This card is very powerful for the most part, hence its name, Powerful Bond. However, it does have Ginyu in its characteristics, which sucks because of the fact that you cannot put him in play with Jace or you can't put him in play with Ginyu the Reliable Captain. But he has a permanent, obviously, he gains Ginyu, Burda, Jace, all those names in all areas. And order when you play him or combo with this card, and as you guys can see on the top left corner, he's a cost one energy to combo with him, and he gives you 5k. So he gives you 5k, and then his auto effect takes place, and he says each Ginyu Force gets 5k for the duration of the turn. And once you activate his effect, the effect of powerful bond giving you force any other one played during that turn is negated so you just can't stack them which is pretty cool um because that would be busted we play two of him we get him we get him which we usually do we only really need one on the kill turn so lastly for our ginyu force package we play elite force captain ginyu this guy is you know pretty big uh six drop for the most part um but he's the powerhouse when he's put in play each ginyu force and their characteristic gains 10k power for the duration of the turn and double strike. So he even gives himself double strike. So he automatically off rip becomes a 35k without any additions from your leader, without any additions from the power bond or anything like that. So that's pretty dope on that behalf. Um, and you know, he's basically gonna try to kill that turn. Um, oh, excuse me, guys, I'm exhausted. So that's the objective of the deck, storm the field, get these guys out and try to do as much damage as possible. Um, we have our standard 10Ks, the, the Shinron 10Ks, which is the trunks. We play two Shinron, the figure of uh, Majesty, Majesty, basically this guy is pretty good. You're just gonna untap two, draw a card, or you get the special summon some of your pieces, which is not bad at all. Or when you go going out for game, give getting you the 5k and a crit. I mean, it's just incredible. Um, we play two Shinron the Wish Granter, another pretty big card in the deck. When he is put in play, you draw two cards and choose one of the following effects. Special summon a three drop, um, untap for energy, or give one your leader or a battle card plus 15k and triple strike for duration of turn which is incredible so you can tell where the deck is going um i actually played the deck on stream and i gave my ginyu triple strike 15k and i gave him crit plus 5k so he was already hitting a 45k crit triple attack triple strike it was incredible it was incredible so that's uh the battle cards of the deck our utility 
of the deck is um, going to be our bad ring lasers at triple. Uh, we may want to max these out um, just in case, but three kind of worked well for me for the most part. We played two personal ambitions. This is just to add more desired cards and just to, you know, untap and draw a card. It's just a replacement for the most part. Um, we play our seven Dragon Balls. We're going to try to get these as early as possible. You just need them for Shinron. So um, it's a necessity, obviously. And then uh, last utility, we played three A Child Wish and three Wells Peace because essentially they do the same thing in this deck in particular. Um, the Child Wish is really good because you can put in play, getting you the reliable captain um, with that on turn two and either swim the board and just kind of start your, your plan. Or you can wait and, you know, special summon something else but that's generally the case right there um it's worked lovely because um starting hand if you have like the jaces and the reliable captain you're gonna want to drop the reliable captain as soon as possible to put in play your jaces because if you're putting in play your jaces four jaces essentially turns into four other cards as well so i mean it was absolutely incredible Whenever you put in play Jace from the hand, either by dropping him or putting in play from with, with Ginyu's effect. You want to make sure you always have at least one or two Jaces in your hand when you're playing a rival captain because then they start to activate and go off. Another good thing about Jace, like I said and mentioned earlier in the deck, he is a blocker. So worst case scenario, things start to fall down. You have blockers. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, so guys, that is the deck. If I was my idea... Um, this is just the first draft. I'm probably going to take out the source of power of Sun Gohans, I mean, some Gokus. But if I do, I'm going to update the video nevertheless. Um, I think it's a pretty unique idea. I know we have a lot of Shimon decks up in the runnings and, you know, for creation. It's just incredible. Shimon is a really good leader. It gives you so much utility to use a wide variety of different, uh, decks and characters and what have you so definitely try them out guys if you like the deck profile please leave a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below let me know what you guys think about it what would you change what would you add and uh, if you actually use the deck let me know how did it fare uh, i'm probably going to bring this to locals tomorrow and test it out furthermore so we're going to see what what happens but um I'm, I'm really liking the idea so guys, thank you so much for viewing this video. Um, just want to shout out to my team, KTN, our sponsors. Also want to shout out to our separate sponsors, the Hill Twins, uh, sponsored by Ultra Pro. Um, pretty good product. Some of the best in the business, if not the best. Um, guys, listen. Again, we will be at the National Championship. So I just want to um, let you guys know it's going to be our birthday that week, uh, which is in six days. <laughs> so uh, we are amped. I'm ready to give my all. So if you guys see us at Nationals, um, you say hi. And uh, yeah, you guys know the deal. Um, so again, guys, thank you so much for viewing this video. Appreciate you guys. Like always, guys, stay super.